Yeah, Paul, just give us your thoughts ahead of what is a very big game for Scotland against a team that you clearly know very well. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit strange. I've obviously been involved with um, England for um, pretty much 14 years and um, so coming up against them in a, such an important game, um, the, the emotions are going to be um, running certainly that day, but um, it's been brilliant being um, with the Scotland team um, for the World Cup qualifiers last year and been involved with the emotions of um, qualifying for the World Cup and then you know it felt like unfinished business to, to come back to the World Cup and, um, and um, be part of the team again and um, really looking forward to what is a, a massive game for both sides. Um, your assessment of, of England's strengths and, and weaknesses and any information you can impart to the Scottish guys about areas they might want to try and exploit? Yeah, just like any team. Yeah, it's um, you know I try to get the information across to the players and, and the experiences that I've I've had playing against certain international um, players and um, you know England's no different. Um, I know them pretty well, but um, yeah, a lot of the a lot of the guys have been developing their game since since I finished in 2011. So you have to be a little bit careful. Um, but they've got a they've got a strong side. Let's be honest. It's um, you know I think that batting lineup that England have got are, are very powerful, and um, we've got to make sure that we find ways to put them under pressure right away throughout the game. Um, that's despite I suppose some people would say their form's been a bit patchy, a bit up and down. I mean, Owen Morgan, for example, has not had a, a great run. Um, you think they're still going to be a very strong side that Scotland will face? Yeah, look. Uh, in the end, they're a national uh, class side, and. Um, you know they'll be desperate to come out and, and get a win under the belts and um, progress to the next next stage. And um, you know the, the highly skilled um, players that we're coming up against. So um, we're going to have to be we're going to have to play our best game to um, you know get a win under our belts. But I'm sure there's a lot of belief in the in the dressing room in the Scotland dressing room that we can do that. Yeah, I mean the likes of Matt Nietzsche and, and Richie had you know, decent knocks. They think they were a little bit disappointed and they didn't go on a little bit further in their half centuries. I, mean, I wonder where you see Scotland's main areas of strength will be on Monday. Well, if we can get uh, enough runs, and, and probably one of the good things is um, you know there's a lot of guys in that batting lineup who are desperate to um, show what they can do, um, and you know Matt Machen and, and Berenton had a, a, a superb partnership in the um, New Zealand game, but. You know, there's plenty of other batsmen in that lineup who um, can do um, similar jobs to that, and and certainly put the England bowlers under pressure. So, um, if we can get a score on the board, and um, you know, it's it's um, you can put teams under pressure, and, and that's certainly an area that um, we've got strength in our side. I'll just ask you one or two questions, if you don't mind, just a bit slightly wider about the tournament, if that's all right. I wonder if you have you caught much of the cricket, and if so, um, who have you been impressed by so far? I've caught a lot of the cricket. Um, you know, it's great to be involved in the World Cup. You do end up um, watching pretty much all the games, um, and New Zealand, are the the kind of the, the team that I've I've got an, an eye on because um, I, I, I really do believe they can go uh, all the way and win it. Um, I think they cover all the bases. You know, the swing bowling up front, and they've obviously got good spinners in the middle and. Um, They've got a really uh, an aggressive uh, way to go about their batting as well. So it's um, you know they're, they're taking it to the teams. They're trying to put teams under pressure, and, um, and I think they're a very strong side. Is there a dark horse in there? Do you think? Dark horse. Um, when Scotland get on their um, on their merry run and get their momentum going, I think uh, Scotland are going to be the dark horses. Uh, and who do you think? For example, player of the tournament might end up being. Is it a year for De Villiers to cement his place? Well, he's um, he's had a little bit of a disappointing start, but I'm sure there's a beginning just around the corner, and um, he's a fantastic player, isn't he? And um, but there's you know there's always a surprise, um, a surprise player in these kind of tournaments that um, you would never have thought of done would do well, and, and they spring up and have a great tournament. So um, I'm sure there's plenty of players out there.